numbers of people crossing the Channel in small boats has climbed from 297 in 2018 to almost 29,000 last year. This is complete. Year. 254 people crossed the Channel on 227 Sunday. 227 had absconded. I began my campaign by telling you that the first emergency my government will tackle is our NHS backlog emergency. Now I want to talk about the second, immigration. But before I do, let me make one thing very clear. I'm not looking for scapegoats. This issue is morally complex and involves real trade-offs. Good people can reach different conclusions, but what must no longer happen is that choices are taken off the table and kept away from public scrutiny and debate. We have to talk about immigration. Let's be honest, our system is broken. We do not have control of our borders. Every year, thousands and thousands of people come into the UK illegally. Often, we don't know who they are, where they're from, and why they're here. These are not bad people, but it makes a mockery of our system and it must stop. The current chaotic free-for-all is simply no way for a serious country to run itself. This is a genuine emergency and must be addressed. I don't care if you believe that migration should be high or low, surely we can all agree that it must be legal, orderly and controlled. At the moment, it's none of those things. I know what racism is. I've experienced it myself. So I want to be clear with you all, there is absolutely nothing racist about wanting Britain to have secure borders that work. In fact, those immigrants who came here legally are the first to say, we played by the rules. Why should other people get away with breaking them? Law-abiding citizens are dismayed when they see boat after boat full of illegal migrants coming from safe European countries with our sailors and coast guards seemingly powerless to stop them. This must stop. And if I become your Prime Minister, it will stop. This is not just hot air or rhetoric. I have a 10-point plan to tackle the problem. A series of concrete measures that are reasonable, fair and proportionate. I will invite all political parties to join me in making this happen, but I'll face down those who try to obstruct this vital work. Our Rwanda policy is the right idea, but only if it's done properly. There would be no point in spending large sums of taxpayers' money only to back off at the first legal challenge. I will make the Rwanda policy work. It is essential that anyone considering trying to sneak into Britain knows that their journey will end in Kigali, not King's Cross. I've published full details of my 10-point plan on my website, so go over and have a look at it. Britain is a generous, ambitious and compassionate country. Not only have we welcomed successive waves of immigrants to this land, people like my family, but we continue to do so. Britain will always be a place for global talent and where we have a special duty to people, we will meet it. For example, the people of Hong Kong have been rightly fast-tracked for resettlement here. The same applies to genuine asylum seekers. When the conflict in Ukraine erupted, many British people opened their hearts and their homes to those fleeing persecution at the hands of Putin's thugs. But basic human decency must be accompanied by hard-headed common sense. A new line needs to be drawn and we must finally enforce it. <laughs>